Hi everyone, my name is Mo Saha. I'm an artist, coloring book author, and an avid art journaler. And today I'm playing with some graphics products to make some mini projects. So it's back to school. My daughter uh, school started last week and she is getting to the stage in her school life where academics start to pick up on importance. So I, she's a little nervous. I don't see any reason, but you know, it is not bound by reason necessarily. So I want to make a few, and they, they have to carry their big fat textbooks around, uh, which makes their backpack heavy. But it is also an opportunity for me to make her some bookmarks that um, also double as reminders, encouragements. So I'm starting with these little paper clips and my plan is to work with the Duralar film. These are 9 by 12 and they come in uh, many different sizes. I have worked with this before. They accept water-based medium to, and they are, you can work on both sides and they are reusable, meaning you can uh, clean it off if you want to. Um, you can also cut them cleanly. This one is a new uh, pro product for me. This is the double tack mounting film. The Duralar that I'm working with is um, not super thick. It's, it folds very easily, which is going to be a helpful feature in what I'm trying to do today. And um, I intend to give the thing a little body. I want to fold it over and make the small banners. So in order to stick the two sides, my goal is to use the double tack mounting film. I've actually cut several pieces of the Duralar film. This is what a 9 by 12 sheet looks like. Um, you can peel and stick. That is what it says over here. Uh, this is great for mounting photos and artwork, scrapbooking, school projects, paper crafts, party supplies. They're acid free, heat resistant, clear, strong, permanent adhesive. I have taken out some basic acrylic paints. I have some additives. I have no idea how to use them. Like these have uh, mica flakes, little beads, confetti, uh, texture items. I don't want it to become bulky but you know just to add a little bit of jazz to the item maybe i'm not 100 percent sure how to use it i do not have a plan yet i have also um uh, i also have some water here uh for the paints and just basic paint brushes scissors scissors would be important to cut through all of this this is a non-stick pair of scissors um, since I intend to cut into the um, pill and stick adhesive and I have a permanent marker as well. Um, let me measure it so you can have an idea what I'm working with. So this is uh, about 1.75 inches. So I'm just cutting. You can um, um, use it with a paper trimmer. I am just going to do it with my pencil and scissors. Very simple. Okay. So out of one piece of film, you are able to make quite a few if you wanted to make some for if, uh, your kid, yourself. And use my bone folder to give it the crisp crease and I'm going to just bring in a little bit of paint And for this, you can 
uh, create your design on the full film and then cut off small pieces that works as well but I'm kind of enjoying the little canvas that I have created over here such small I usually don't work on such a tiny surface but this appears to be pretty fun It's amazing that the film doesn't get hot because because I'm working with metal clips I can feel the heat from the heat tool on the clips uh, but there is no I have no difficulty touching this although I can't really touch the clip just yet So you have to be very careful if you are writing a message that when you put your clip in the message does not get hidden or it does not get mirror imaged so yeah i think i'm happy with the way this is working out because my blocks are about one and a half inch by one and a half inch I want to cut my adhesive film a little smaller just a little bit smaller because the mechanism of the clip has to fit inside and that means the adhesive sticks out a little bit on the outer edges uh, you can always cut it off okay everything is as it should be just varnishing it down and then I'm going to peel this side off and I believe you can see the film and now very carefully position everything and then let it make contact and once it has go back with your bone folder and another burnishing tool and just we're just pushing out any air bubbles or anything that might get in the um, get between the wet media film and the mounting film just for a smoother nicer looking finish and the glue is not bumpy lumpy or anything like that i'm writing on top of it and it is as smooth as the film that i was writing on before i applied the adhesive as well so working with the double tack mounting film was very easy as you saw the the only challenge for me was because i do not keep long nails just to peel off the first corner but you know that's nothing you can use something else to Peel up a tiny bit of the corner, varnish it down as much as you can and then it just is seamless. You can't even tell. If you have worked with transparent films in the past, you know how hard it is to um, hide an adhesive that does not leave a mark or something or you know, this is seamless. I love it. Uh, this is my sketchbook so you are seeing snippets of other projects and I think it's an easy project and a lot of fun and I hope uh, if you're making it for somebody they are happy to receive this yeah just be patient be mindful if you are writing messages that they are not getting mirror imaged the film is very pliable it when you are working with a heat tool on a film like this the, you have no danger from the film the film has no danger from the heat but if there are metal components be careful it could be hot so just 
uh, something to think about and if you are just using patterns there is no front and back or issue of getting mirror imaged and in, you can do anything I did not experiment with the additives because I think this would be a little overwhelming if I wanted to put additives into this as well so for me the strip the paint the pen and the clip was sufficient and the mounting film this is my first time using it and it is wonderful actually it's wonderful it's not it's a pretty thick layer of adhesive i have to say and when it goes it creates like a cushion but not so much of a cushion that you will struggle to write if uh, the way i was writing on top of it after putting the adhesive in place it just makes complete bond of course you need to make sure that you have varnished it down properly uh, so that every bit of it makes contact and i think this would last let's see how long it lasts i have a feeling it will do just fine throughout the year and th this is i experimented with the wet media film this would be something the mounting film would work with the other dural art films as well i'm not going to experiment with them today but i am i'm a fan of this product now it's really easy to use you know how uh, some adhesives especially liquid adhesives they get really messy when you are putting between things and especially uh, something with a slick surface it, they don't they never make full contact they peel off they separate and i never liked that so this is not something that's happening here i mean and you can't tell the adhesive is there that feels like the biggest uh, wonderful point of it that it is an absolutely transparent film and between two films you can't see it so that's a thing and of course make sure to cut it in the right size right shape the more precise you are um, and patient not only precise but also patient you are you're going to do a better job if you rush through it you might cut that to see a little small little big you know whatever so those kind of things other than that i think i have worked with this uh, wet media film before and i have loved it and today it lent itself to a very quick easy um nice and meaningful project for me and i plan to return to the double tack mounting film in my future projects but for now i'm going to say bye and i hope if you are making it for yourself that you enjoy this like it says you got this and if you are making it for someone else i think they would enjoy them too and with that i'm going to see you with another graphics project in the future bye for now